Welcome to VidBits, brought to you by premium support at Symantec. My name is Nephi Perry and I'm a Principal Technical Account Manager for Symantec. I'll be your host today for this tour of installing VIP Enterprise Gateway 9.8 and upgrading to 9.8.2. For today we will be going through the most up-to-date version of VIP Enterprise Gateway available. First, we want to log into the VIP Manager to access the installation files for VIP Enterprise Gateway. Go to manager.vip.symantec.com and hit enter. This will load up the UI to log in. Log in like you normally would with your username and password and your six digit code. Once you've accessed the VIP Manager dashboard, go to the Account tab and then download files. Notice all the file folders to the left. We're going to choose the Enterprise Gateway and then at the very bottom 9.8. This opens up the various files associated with the 9.8 Enterprise Gateway implementation. One item of note, you'll notice the VIP Windows Package 9.8 at the bottom and a VIP Enterprise Gateway 9.8.0 Windows.zip. What you want to select is the VIP Enterprise Gateway 9.8 Windows Zip. We're going to go ahead and start that download. Notice also the documentation PDFs at the top. We'll want to download the VIP Enterprise Gateway 9.8 Install and Config Guide for future reference, if not for this install as well. Notice when navigating in this window that using the back button on the bottom will reset you to the dashboard page. Instead, click the parent directory link in the top left of this window to return to the folders up one level. Also notice the patches folder. We'll also download the 9.8.2 patch that's available in that folder. We won't end up using it, but it's important to have just in case. I will fast forward until all of the files have been downloaded. I recommend that we create a folder on the desktop or somewhere that you can remember to store these files for us. I'm going to copy them from the downloads folder and put them in the file folder on our desktop. Once there, I'm going to create two subfolders. We'll call one of them VIP installation and we'll call the other one VIP update. I'm going to move the zip files into each of these folders just to keep them organized. Once everything is organized, extract your zip files into these folders. You'll notice that there's a setup file now. We're going to go ahead and double click on that. This initiates the Windows installation Accept the agreement and hit next. You'll need to create username and password for the gateway. Once you've entered your desired inputs, hit next. The next window allows you to choose where your install will go. I generally suggest the default. Make no changes in this window and hit next. The next window is the install button. If you're ready, hit install at this point. The install goes fairly quickly, but we'll skip to the end for the sake of time. Once completed, the install will prompt you with a successful install window as you see here with an option to launch the configuration console already checked. Please do so by keeping the radio button checked and hitting finish. The console will take a few minutes to load which I will show you in real time here. Next, input your username and password you created at installation and click sign in. You land on the home page. For convenience, the version of your Enterprise Gateway is located at the bottom left of the screen. You can see we have 9.8.0 installed at this point. Because we want to utilize the most current technologies available, we will now upgrade to 9.8.2. There are two options to upgrade your VIP Enterprise Gateway, manually and automatically. For the sake of this video, we will upgrade manually today. To do this, Click Settings at the top bar. Notice the various links on the left side 
to processes managed by the VIP gateway. There is a lot to cover here, but for today, we just need the link near the bottom called Update Settings. Click on this link. Notice the default on this window is to automatically look for updates on a daily basis at midnight server time. We recommend that you do have automatic updates checked daily or at least weekly. This will vary from enterprise to enterprise and definitely deal with this in the best way for your implementation. That really is up to you. Today we'll manually upgrade by clicking the link at the top. There are three steps to this upgrade process. First, we'll check for updates. Our gateway found the 9.8.2 upgrade and we have the option to download it. The box is checked for us by default and when presented with this window, simply click download. The second step is the gateway downloading the update as requested. We'll go ahead and fast forward through this step because it can take a few minutes. The third step is to install this update. The install page has a couple key warnings to keep in mind. Since I'm doing a new install, I can ignore them, but if you're upgrading your production environment, for example, they are important warnings to read through. You will need to restart the SSP or self-service portal, your validation server, VIP manager, and LDAP services once you upgrade the gateway. Accept the licensing agreement and click proceed. The update will take a couple minutes and we'll fast forward the video until it is done. The upgrade has completed and we are now presented with a login screen to access the newly upgraded gateway. Log in again using your gateway credentials. Notice the VIP EGW is now on version 9.8.2. Congratulations! This concludes our upgrade to VIP Enterprise Gateway version 9.8.2. We hope you've enjoyed this installation and upgrade tutorial. We hope you have a great day. Take care!